Hi, and welcome to Smart Sex, Smart Love. I'm Dr. Joe Court, and today I'm gonna to be talking about how to choose a sex and relationship therapist. First of all, you should know that anybody can call themselves a sex therapist. There's no licensure, there's no governing bodies other than in Florida where there are. But other outside of Florida, there's nothing to say you can't call yourself a sex therapist. If you're looking for a therapist, you need to know that most therapists are not trained in sexual health or in sex therapy. Um, that's something that has to be done outside of their program, out of their master's program, their PhD program. So you have every right to ask your therapist that you're interviewing, either on the phone, through email, or even in the first appointment, have you had training in sexual therapy and sexual health education and any kind of um, understanding of sex? And if so, where and what kind, what certificates, um, you know, what what um, classes have they been to? Because that's gonna tell you something about you know what, what they know or what they don't know. It's important to know this because if a therapist doesn't have training in sex therapy or any kind of sexual health uh, information, they're going to lead you to sexual health that's right for them. They're going to have blind spots. Or if you come in as a couple, they're gonna align with a partner that they're more aligned with in terms of what they believe is right or wrong, good or bad, uh, disgusting or not disgusting within themselves. You don't want this. You wanna find a therapist who's done enough good training and good work um, to protect you from their bias. That's what every therapist should be doing anyways. Most of us do try to do that. When I do a show of hands, when I do any presentations anywhere, I always ask the people, I could have, let's say 50 therapists in the room, how many of you have had sex therapy training of any kind post-masters? And most therapists don't raise their hands. Maybe two or three raise their hands. So there's a need out there and you need to know that not every therapist who says they do sex therapy, like I said, is, and really what's very important is to know that if somebody identifies themselves as a sex addiction therapist, that doesn't indicate that they know anything about sex either because in most sex, sex therapy trainings, there's not a sexual health component. So sadly, they learn lots about trauma, they learn lots about addiction, but they learn nothing about sex. And that's harmful in my opinion and potentially abusive in working with clients who are coming in with sexual disorders. So it's totally fine to ask your therapist what what kind of training have you had we are looking for a therapist who works with couples that have two conversations going on in the therapy room one about our relationship and two about our sexual relationship um, so this is dr. Joe court and I hope this has been helpful and we'll see you next time